Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Aircraft carriers are some of the largest warships on Earth. Created to deploy, arm, and carry aircraft, these floating air bases can reach speeds of 30 knots. Less than 50 aircraft carriers are in use today, owned by 14 navies. with some capable of carrying up to 80 fighters. Aircraft carriers are built with ample deck space to accommodate their heavy loads. Even though they've been around since the early 1900s, aircraft carriers weren't commonly used until the early 1940s. That's when they played strategic roles in massive military campaigns during World War II. Nuclear-powered and measuring almost 1,110 feet, today's Nimitz-class carriers can cost more than $13 billion. Crew members who live aboard USS Nimitz have exclusive access to the ship's store, which stocks all the goods from land that they need at sea. From Red Bull to Monster Energy drinks, the ship's door satisfies the sailors' needs while generating revenue at the same time. Making between $10,000 and $20,000 per day, which is recycled into more merchandise for the sailors. Receiving anywhere from 50 to 80 pallets weekly, the ship's door stocks its shelves with up to 20 pallets of goods daily. A sweet new add-on to the billion-dollar aircraft carrier is a Starbucks aboard USS Nimitz. An unusual sight for most aircraft carriers, allowing sailors to have a hot cup of coffee whenever they like, at a reduced price. Not only does it give them the feeling of home, but the Navy also sends Starbucks reps to make sure the coffee at sea tastes as good as coffee on land. The most interesting part is that every dollar the Starbucks at sea makes goes back to the sailors who purchase them. So if you need a mid-afternoon blended or whipped treat and you happen to work on USS Nimitz, drop by the Starbucks at sea for a cold brew, latte, or frappuccino. Known as the Navy Cash Card Program, all proceeds from this Starbucks at sea go straight back into the sailors' bank accounts. Sailors can use the coffee's proceeds on anything else they need on the ship, including more Java chip frappuccinos. If a crew member loses their cash card, all they have to do is wait to see if it's returned or fill out a lost form to get it back. If it's lost once, the sailor goes to their LPO, twice leads them to the LCPO, and three times takes them to the department head. But three times and you're out. After that, sailors are ineligible for a new card. Additionally, this unique Navy ship also has a barber shop, which closed in March 2020 due to the coronavirus. Yet, USS Nimitz was able to reopen its floating barbershop after a series of improvements and renovations. Now, its barbers at sea can still share their visions of providing the tools from a professional appearing crew. It's also known as the best barbershop at sea, giving sailors the confidence they need to crush their everyday tasks. Accommodating every crew member, the barbershop plays by this simple rule. If you look good, you feel good.
Besides this, this floating city has a sailor-run dental office too. USS Nimitz has everything its sailors need to look and feel their best at sea. USS Reagan also pays for dental school for its practitioners to get the very best education and serve their country while traveling the globe. A special situation for most dentists, living in a floating city means living below an airport and above a nuclear reactor. By relieving pain, these dentists are able to provide the exact same care as their on-land counterparts. When they're not doing dentistry, dentists stay active to maintain the posture to serve at their highest level. The way he talks to patients is absolutely amazing. I think um, he makes patients feel so comfortable when, the, when they're in the chair. They're not, they're not worried about anything when it comes to, you know, getting numbed up or taking a shot, anything like that. that he's, he's really great at calming them down. From crowns to teeth replacements, the work is as rewarding for crew members as it is for its floating dentists. Taking a ton of pride in their work, USS Nimitz ensures its crew members are always happy and healthy. Not to mention flashing brilliant smiles as well. Like a regular boat, it can release an anchor to stay steady in one spot. However, aircraft carrier chains are over a quarter of a mile long. So it takes a team of strong sailors to keep them in shape. USS Nimitz has long been known for its motto, teamwork, a tradition. However, today they pride themselves in the unconventional provision and services they offer their crew. One of the most high-priced military aircraft carriers ever made, the USS Nimitz also has its own biofuel testing facility. Dedicated to creating little to no waste, aircraft carriers have waste rooms aboard to ensure that they don't pollute the sea. This floating military aircraft carrier can replenish its oil supply at sea with other warships. In July 2013, the USS Nimitz received fuel from the USNS Kaiser during the US Navy's Rim of the Pacific exercise. Acting as part of its Great Green Fleet initiative, this maritime demonstration is only a sample of all the strategic things USS Nimitz can do. On other military aircraft carriers, such as USS Theodore Roosevelt, there are even waste rooms aboard as well. filled with pulper machines to cut trash from the crew members at sea. These floating waste rooms also have incinerators. Its mission is clear, to process as much waste as it can on board, Plus, USS Theodore Roosevelt processes hard and soft plastics.
shreds up the raw material, and places it into the CMU. A common machine used to compress and melt down plastics into pucks, the CMU helps the crew member pack up its pucks and ship them out. But it's not all work and no play aboard most multi-billion dollar aircraft carriers at sea. Introducing a one of the only singing competitions at sea, featuring sailors from places far and wide. Known as the Nimitz Idol, sailors cover everything from classic hits to handwritten songs. Equal parts inspiring and innovative, Nimitz Idol showcases talent from abroad and at home. While popular rock songs rule the day, you won't be surprised to see the powerful solo singer belting out ballads at the top of their lungs. Even hymnals and spiritual songs have a place here. Romantic melodies surround the sailors as they participate in one of the most entertaining singing competitions at sea. If you're a crew member who's more into dancing, you may want to stop by the Nimitz Salsa events on board. Taking a rest from their daily routines, crew members aboard the USS Nimitz relish the chance to enjoy their midday salsa lessons. These salsa classes are open to all as a morale boost and a workout. Another interesting ritual is what's known as a swim call. This is when sailors are ordered to explore uncharted waters by jumping into the ocean for a nice long swim. Officers will often demand that sailors jump from different heights to prove their mettle to their peers, with extra points for cannonballs and dives. In the end, Everyone gets a nice break from work and boosts camaraderie amongst the sailors. Last but not least, this military aircraft carrier also hosts the USS Nimitz Basketball Tournament. Based in the hangar bay, the USS Nimitz basketball tournament is well attended by over 50 crew members. This playful tournament is another example of the ethos that USS Nimitz truly embodies, to work hard and play hard. Most military warships are known as effective seaside airbases built to recover, deploy, arm, and carry planes. But when it comes to military disputes, USS Nimitz has done more than enough to prove its prowess in battle. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.